Building a website is the first crucial step in marketing your brand online, but if you really want to generate more leads and sales, you'll need a high converting landing page. Luckily, there are plenty of free website landing page builders to make the process easier. In this video, I will show you how to create a free landing page in WordPress with no coding required. We'll be using Seedprod, the number one landing page builder for WordPress with over 1 million users. Seedprod has a drag and drop page editor that makes creating pages quick and easy for everyone. Please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and to learn how Seedprod can help create amazing landing pages for you. So the first thing we're gonna do is come over to your WordPress dashboard and we're going to install a plugin called Seedprod. So we'll go to plugins and add new. And on the right hand side up here, we'll type in Seedprod. This is the seed prod light version. So we're going to go ahead and install now and click activate. Up top, it will see a message saying you're using seed prod light. To unlock more features, consider upgrading to pro. So you can click that link or go to seedprod.com or you can check some of the features out on this page here. We're going to go ahead and we can create your first page or you can click on pages on the left hand side of the menu. Here you'll see a couple unlocked modes and a couple locked modes. These are for the pro version and these are with the free version. So you can create a coming soon mode page and a maintenance mode page. We're going to be creating a landing page, so we can go ahead and create new landing page. And Seedprod is going to ask you to choose a new page template. You can unlock 10 free templates if you add your email in here and click get free templates. This will sign up to the newsletter. But you do get a couple free ones here, and then you can see and preview the ones that are unlocked with your email. And then there are a bunch of professionally designed pro version templates as well. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and select this one right here and, and click the check mark. And we're just gonna give it a name. So I'm just gonna call this landing page, but you can call this whatever is relevant for you. And then click save and start editing. Now you'll see the actual seed prod visual page builder. On the left hand side, we have our blocks and these blocks can be dragged onto the page and deleted. And we have standard blocks and advanced blocks. In the free version, most of the advanced blocks are not available. You can add a giveaway and this will use the raffle press plugin, or you can insert a contact form using WP forms and it's all integrated into Seedprod as well. So it makes it really easy to use those. We also have some sections up here and you can import sections, but these are a pro feature. I just wanted to show you quick. So if you wanted it, for example, features, Here's a list of features with a pre-made layout, and you can just import that into your page. Makes it really quick and easy to work when you have the pro version. With the free version, what we want to do first is add in your content and your branding. So if you did have a logo on the page, you could add your logo. Most landing pages don't. We're just trying to push one specific offer. In this example, I'm just going to rebrand the page and the content quickly. And I'll just show you how to do that. For example, the top here is a background image and you can see that there's these lines that show up in the page builder inside seed prod. So this one's purple. So that means that it's a section. And when I click on it, we can see that the left side updates here. For example, here's a blue one. If I click on that, we're editing a row and the, the options here on the left will update for that. And right here is a header. So if I click this, this is orange and this is a headline block. So you'll see that all the options change for that one as well. So we want to change the section. It has a background image here. So if we hit the trash can, that'll delete this. And we can just pick a normal color if we want it. So I can just drag and drop this if I wanted to change it. Something simple, whatever you wish. You can use a gradient. So two different colors. You can change the angle and do all that. For this example, I'm going to upload my own image so you can use your own image. And then just select the file that you want to upload. So I had a couple pictures ready. Here's one. It's going to be the background. Around. I'm just going to select this and I'm going to click on this block for the headline. I'm going to update the text here. So this one I called social media growth secrets delivered daily to your email. Now you might notice that there's a lot of space right here and there's a couple places that you can check. It's usually on the row or on the actual block itself. I suspect that this one is on the block settings and then there's an advanced tab. And then there's some styles here, but there's also spacing and you can see that by default, there's 325 pixels of spacing. So if I take this and drag it, we can maybe make that a little bit smaller as well. I'm going to take this and there's a text shadow effect that we can add. And I'm going to say medium just to put a little bit of darkness behind that text. And if I come back to content, I can align that to the center. Now, if we come down to the page here, I have another image. So if I click on this, I can do the same thing and delete it. And I'm just going to use my own image. So I'll just upload another one here. And this is just a picture of a phone and I'm going to select this. And you can see it's a little bit smaller here. This is because of the default width is set to 59%. So you can change this to pixels or to percent. So I'm going to change that to percent and put it to 100%. On the right hand side, we have a little block here and you can see that there's some spacing here. So it looks like there's some type of spacing. The same thing, we'll go to the advanced tab for that column. 
and we can look and we can see that there's 45 pixels pushing it down from the top margin so we can just get rid of that and now i have a headline here and i have a button so again i would just click on these and change all of the text here on the left hand side so i changed the text on this one and we can modify the font size so for it to fit better in here i'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger something around here we can change the block settings for the button as well so we can say join now we can change this to something like get started and results guaranteed we'll change this to something like learn from the best Again, you can change these to whatever you wish, whatever works for you. Now we're not touching the colors yet. We're gonna work on that after we change all of the content. So I'm just gonna go down quickly and make some modifications. I'm gonna get rid of this header. So I'm gonna delete this. And the first thing I notice is that the button styles aren't the same. Let me click on the block here and go under advanced. And you can see that a background color is set for this. I'm gonna actually just click clear and I'll show you how to modify all of the buttons all at the same time instead of changing the color for each one. So same thing for this button and I'll just clear this and I'm going to change the button style to flat. So that's the same one as this one here. And I'm going to do that for this button and this one as well. Another thing we could have did instead of changing each button, we could delete these and then modify just the one and duplicate it. And then we could just drag and drop that and move it. So I can do the same here to the bottom one, delete that and we can duplicate and I'll drag this right underneath here. And the block settings here, this is a full width one. If you don't want it full width, you can change the alignment. So for example, center. And then you could make it an extra large or two time large button if you like. I'm gonna make this full width and say an extra large button. And I'll just continue changing the headlines here. So there we go, take our 14 day challenge, increase Instagram engagement and steady YouTube growth. So I'm pretending that I have some type of email list where people are interested in growing their social media. So everything is relevant to that. I'm just gonna update these pictures just so they're the same as this one. Of course you would change these to be unique for each one. I'm just gonna update these quick though. And when I imported these, you can see that the width again is not 100%. So I'm just going to change these quick to be 100. So there we go. We can see our landing page so far. Now the next thing that we want to do is actually update the colors. So there's two ways to do this. You can change colors locally on the blocks and columns, and you can change them with the global settings. On the bottom left-hand side here, you'll see a little global settings cogwheel. So if you click this, the global settings will be used for fonts, colors, background, and custom CSS. So if we click on fonts, we can modify the header font and the body text font. In the pro version, there are font themes that we can just click on one and it'll automatically update based on these pre-made pairings. In Seedprod Lite, we have access to all of these great fonts. There's so many to choose from here. So you could go through and pick a good combination. And the same thing for colors. So you can modify the colors for the headers, text, buttons, links, and backgrounds. And the pro version has color palettes that you can select from that are pre-made. So because we deleted all of the background colors locally for the blocks for the buttons, we can see the option here, it's getting the color from the button's global setting. So now if I change this, you can see that all of our buttons actually change at the same time. So we don't have to modify each one. That's the same thing for links. We actually don't have any text links on this specific page, but you could change those here. And the text and background. So the background, we only have one area, which I believe is right here. This is a background image. And then this is set on the actual section itself to be a different background color. So I'm just gonna keep this to white. And then let's say on this column, I'm gonna go local. And I'm going to say background color. I'm going to do something with a blue color here. So somewhere in this range, a little bit purple somewhere. That's fine though. So we'll go here. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to do the same thing on this col column setting and go for background color. And it has a recently used, so I can click this, but I don't want it to be totally the same. I'm going to make it maybe a little bit lighter so it stands out a bit. Now, if I come down, I'm going to pick this whole section and I want this to match that dark color because this is the one that I want to have stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to click the background and recently use and select that color. Now there's a lot of spacing in between here. So if I click section settings and go to advanced and spacing, you can see there's 80. I'm going to just cut that in half to say 40 and the same rate here. So I'm going to do the same thing. This section, I'm going to change that to 40. So that brings the page together a little bit better. And now obviously that button color doesn't match our whole theme that we have going on. So let's go back to our global settings, colors, and we'll just update the buttons. So I'm going to go with something in the darker, purple range. And then I'm going to have maybe this one a little bit different than these two and maybe the bottom one as well. Now this, these buttons would link to another landing page or your sign up form or some type of sales funnel that you're trying to lead people to. With the pro version, we do have an opt-in form that we can drag and drop in to have people join an email list directly into Seedprod. And then you can connect that with your email marketing service of choice. You can also drag and drop in a contact form here, which would install WP Forms, which is a highly recommended plugin. For this example, we're gonna say that you already have a landing page or some type of sales funnel set up. And you could just click on these and change the link here. 
to go to that page. For the color for this one, I'm gonna change under the advanced tab and the background color. So I'll make that one a little bit different with the purple. And then these two are that bluish purple. And then I can make this one purple as well. And there we go, we have our landing page that's pretty much completed. And you could spend more time on this if you wish. We have a mobile preview here, so you could click here to preview your landing page on mobile devices. And then you would go through and make certain changes. So for example, the text up here may be a little bit too big. So I could click on this and just bring the font size down to change that. And to get back to desktop preview, we could click here. And once we're happy, we could save this. And we could go to the page settings here to make sure that our general SEO analytics and scripts are all set up how we need. So you could change the page title if you want. So maybe I'll say social media growth or give it a specific name that makes sense. You can change the page URL. So we'll say social media or social, whatever you wish. The page status, so you can publish this. You can also publish this from the little drop down right here. And we can show a seed prod link powered by seed prod. So if I click here, that'll show a link at the bottom of the page and you can join our affiliate program and put your link in here to get a 20% commission on all sales generated from your link. We have an isolation mode and this will prevent conflicts with your theme or other plugins. So if you want to enable that, you can go ahead under the SEO tab. You can install all in one SEO, which is a fantastic search engine optimization plugin for WordPress. And the same goes with analytics with monster insights, both highly recommended and and scripts if you need to paste anything into your header body or footer you can go ahead and do that right here let's go ahead and save this page and we can publish it and see the live page and there we go we can see our live page and everything looks good and we can see the little seed prod link here and you can turn that off in the page settings if you like I hope this video helped you learn how to create a free landing page using SeedProd and our professionally designed templates. Now that you have a landing page with the free version, it might be a great idea to unlock all the features of SeedProd with the Pro license. Check out this video on how to create a simple landing page in WordPress using SeedProd Pro. It will walk you through step-by-step -step how to use SeedProd to create great looking pages with the unlocked version. This will allow you to add more advanced functionality and get access to many more beautiful landing page templates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.